Want to know how musicians use short two chord patterns to create longer progressions with more than four chords? Then you'll want to know about harmonic sequences. Walk this way. This is Music Corner, your source for nerdy thoughts on music. I'm David Kulma. I'll get to harmonic sequences in a minute, but first, you need to know about sequences in general. A sequence is a way of repeating a musical gesture, but instead we start each repetition on a new note. For example, let's make a melodic sequence out of the first three notes of Frere Jaca. I play the first three notes, and then play the same shape starting a note higher, and again a note higher than that, and so on. I just played a tonal sequence, where we modify the intervals to stay in one key. On the other hand, a real sequence keeps the exact same intervals for each each chunk. But how do we do this with chords for harmonic sequences? We'll start with two chords as our basis and build from there. The music I played at the beginning, Paca Bell's Canon, is built in just this way. Cellists know this in their blood. Let's look at the progression and bass line. D down a fourth to A, up a step to B, down a fourth to F sharp, up a step to G, down a fourth to D, up a fourth to G, up a step to A, and it begins again endlessly. This really is the song that never ends. Did you see the pattern? Down four, up up two. The end breaks off the sequence to restart the cycle. This pattern of down a fourth and up a step results in a descending third from chunk to chunk. So theorists call this a descending thirds sequence because of the third from D to B and B to G. That's a cool harmonic sequence, but let's look at one that has captivated more musicians for centuries. It goes down five, up four, which results in a descending seconds sequence. But it has a more well-known name, a descending circle of fifths sequence, because we go around the a circle of fifths in one direction for the whole sequence, except we take a huge shortcut to stay in the same key. Now, I could easily find a great example of this progression in classical music, but I think disco is a better choice right now. At first I was drained, I had had enough, kept thinking I could never figure out this theory stuff. But then I spent so many hours studying music all night long, I grew strong. And I learned how to play this song, and now I know this tonal space. I can now write this chord progression on an analog clock face. Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive and my silly theory parody are in A minor. After a brief piano intro, we start on an A minor chord for four beats and keep this harmonic rhythm until the end of the sequence. We go counterclockwise around the circle of fifths, down a perfect fifth to a D minor chord, up a perfect fourth to a G major chord, down a perfect fifth to a C major chord, and up a perfect fourth to an F major chord. Now we take the shortcut to stay in A minor by going down a diminished fifth to a B diminished chord, and we go up a perfect fourth to an E major chord, where we lengthen this dominant chord to eight beats to be a whole normal phrase length, which leads us back to start the sequence over again with the man from outer space. Now that I've shown you two possibilities, go make your own harmonic sequences. Thanks for watching Music Corner. I hope you found this video helpful in your music studies. If you have a little extra money, consider dropping me a dollar over on my Patreon account. For one dollar a month, you get access to behind the scenes info and you can come to me with your theory questions there. I would love to help you succeed. I'll see you next week, music nerds. And remember, long live the avant, whoa, long live the avant, avant-garde.